just because you follow Jesus doesn't mean that your house doesn't face storms. Just because you love and obey Jesus doesn't mean that there won't be suffering and trial in your life. Both houses get the storm. And so you need to hear this because it's, I don't know, not taught. Following Jesus doesn't mean you won't get sick. And following Jesus doesn't mean you won't have financial issues. And following Jesus won't mean that you won't have marital problems. And following Jesus won't mean that somebody won't die. You need to hear that. Because we have people that know and love Jesus, families who have gone through miscarriages, infertility issues. And we have singles that know and love Jesus and would really like to be married and aren't. And sometimes it's really hard. And we have students that know and love Jesus. And this has happened a number of times. They go abroad for a semester and like a storm hits their faith and they begin to question it. It happens all the time. Just because you know and love Jesus doesn't mean you won't face those things. And you need to hear that because there's teaching out there that says you will. That you, if you love Jesus and if you follow Jesus and if you have enough faith, will always be healthy and always be wealthy and always be good and everything will be great. Well, what about when it's not great? Does that mean that I don't love Jesus? No. Surrendering, obeying, submitting to Jesus means that even when the winds do blow, even when the rain does fall, even when the storm does come, and even if everything was stripped away from you, because you treasure Jesus, you stand. That's what it means. You will face storms as a Christian. You will go through suffering. It will happen. It is not God angry at you. It is not God saying, you need to be punished. That's what Jesus did. He was punished for you. It's going to happen. And it's going to press into you and there's going to be things that are brought to light and there's going to be areas of your heart you haven't surrendered and then you will and it's Him making you what He's been describing. And for the Christian, because here is what I've been calling you to, those of you that aren't a guest here or maybe don't know Jesus, here is what I'm, if I'm not calling you to external obedience, if I'm not calling you to spiritual activity, what am I calling you to? I'm calling you to this. I'm calling you to know and love Jesus. To you surrender your heart to Jesus because here's what's going to happen. If you do, storms are still going to come. I'm not inviting you to a better life. I'm inviting you to the presence of God far better. 